Hello and welcome, it's Debs here. I hope you're having a really good day wherever you are. I wanted to talk to you today about sin and forgiveness. Um, basically because I've seen something around that that's been really really helpful and I think there was a message in the Bible if you have ever been um, if you've ever been a part of a religion if you've ever uh, been in church and things like that there's a lot of talk about forgiveness of sin you know sin you'll die in your sins and forgiveness will give you everlasting life and and there's definitely a message whether whether you see that as metaphor whether you see that as actually as it is there was a great message in the Bible about sin and forgiveness so so I would like to just put that in layman's terms and share with you what I have seen around that in the hope that there's something helpful for you there. So first off, when you look at the word sin, to me, I used to think that sin was being naughty, doing something that I shouldn't do. You know, like if my mum told me to go to bed by nine o'clock, if I didn't go to bed till half past nine, then I had sinned. Now, what I see around the word sin what the word sin means is missing the mark and to me the sin that the bible is talking about the sin and the forgiveness that is going to really help you is to see that we set ourselves um we set ourselves things we want to achieve things we want to do and the word sin actually means missing the mark so it's like, if I want to make a video today and I don't make a video, if I have set myself the task, if I have set myself the mark of making a video today and then I don't do it, I have sinned because I've decided, I've set myself something to do, I've set myself a task, I've decided who I want to be or something like that. You know, if we decide we want to be kind and then we commit an act of unkindness, we have sinned because we have missed our own mark. And, you know, across the board, whether it is a thing like making a video, whether it's how we show up, we have sinned when we have missed the mark. So somewhere inside us, we know who we want to be. We know we want to be live in peace. We know we want to be kind and happy and all of those things that we want to be. And then when we don't achieve that, we have sinned. We have missed the mark. So then forgiveness comes in. So what forgiveness is, allowing yourself to completely wipe the slate clean and go again. And without that forgiveness, without, like if we do something, if we miss our mark, if we don't, if we had decided that we wanted to be kind today and then we were really unkind to someone, if we can't forgive ourselves, if we can't wipe the slate clean and then go again and, and decide to be kind and try again, if we can't do that, if we hold ourselves in that, if we beat ourselves up, if we make it mean we're not good enough, if we, we, we can tear ourselves down and tear ourselves about a, 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 into pieces and metaphorically really harm ourselves and act in that, you know, we can actually mentally really harm ourselves by not forgiving ourselves that we we didn't live up to what it was we wanted to do and those things that we want to do don't necessarily it might not be that in the morning we wake up and decide I'm going to be kind today it might be something that less obvious to us than that but when we are beating ourselves up when we are doing those things basically we are not forgiving ourselves for missing the mark we're committing a sin not forgiving ourselves and as the message in the Bible is that we will die in our sins and basically what that means is we are just going to take ourselves further and further and further down into depression and illness and all of those things if we can't set ourselves marks decide who it is we want to be try to do that and forgive ourselves and try again because it is the forgiveness that wipes all of that beating ourselves up holding things against us bringing the baggage from yesterday with us seeing people you know it, not having fresh eyes to see the people around us not having fresh eyes to see ourselves if we cannot do that then we are going to be walking through treacle walking through maya it's going to be really really hard so it is incredibly useful to see that it's we are always going to set ourselves things we want to do and we can do that knowingly or unknowingly we can decide choose who we want to be and knowingly set ourselves 
who we're going to be or we're, we're going to do it anyway because life is going to we're going to look at life see people know we want to be like that person know we don't want to be like that person whether we mean to or not and then we are going to go out into the world and do stuff and we are either going to achieve that or we're not and if we don't achieve what it is we want to do if we cannot forgive ourselves we are going to pull ourselves further and further down so that is why the message of sin and forgiveness is such an important one because life itself is going to show us who we want to be what we want to be whether it is just you know normal ordinary things like I, I want to make a video today I, I want to run a business I want whatever it is or whether it is those deeper things of who who we want to show up as you know I want to help people I want to serve people I want I want to build a business in the world I want to earn money anything life is going to show us tons of things that we want to do and when we set that as the mark we have to have the ability that when we do not hit that mark to allow ourselves a moment and then to reset, to forgive, to wipe the slate clean as if that never happened. So I hope there was something helpful in that. I hope you heard something in that. I hope that is helpful for you. Um, if you liked what you heard in this video, do give the video a like. If you've got any questions or comments, do drop them below. I always love to hear to hear from you. I always love to know what you're seeing, what you're hearing and what it is I share. And if you want to do some work with me, if you want to dive deeper, more deeply into what it is I share, I'm doing something at the moment called 365 Delicious Days of Cracking Creation, where we are diving deeply into this, looking at the paradox of being human, that, you know, all of these things, looking more deeply at how all of this works. And the details to find out more about that and join that will be below here, to be below here too. Please feel free to ask questions about that. Have a great day, enjoy it, whatever you're up to, and hopefully I will see you somewhere soon. Take care, bye for now.